What's going on, guys? Welcome back to some more of the Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Last part, we did the uh, we did we did the first half of the Stone Tower Temple, and uh, we basically flipped the temple upside down. We flipped the temple upside down. We bought Chateau Romani, so we have unlimited magic. I would especially recommend it for the second half, but like uh, we have unlimited magic, and uh, we have our eighth stray fairy in this part. So uh, yeah, this part we're gonna try to see if we can do the rest of the temple. I will say, though, I think the worst is definitely behind you. Now, let me check to see if I'm even going the, if I'm even going the right way. Is there a doorway to the left? Uh, there is not. So, yeah, we're going the right way. It's the only way to go. We need to get out the uh, Deku mask. Let's get out the stray fairy mask to be on the safe side. Okay, there are stray fairies in this room. I think I might have a clue on where the stray fairies are on top of that. Is this the, uh... We need, uh, we need our hook shot. Except, uh, I fail miserably. Alright, come on, die! We- we fought you all the way back in, uh, what am I trying to say? We fought you all the way back in, like... We fought you all the way back in, uh, Woodfall. That's what I was trying to say. Except the words couldn't come out of my mouth. Yeah, we kind of want a hook shot. This is another one of those, uh, ones that involves getting a switch, so if you didn't get it, don't even bother. Unless you're not going for all the stray fairies. We have, we have to kind of shoot at an angle. I'm not even 100% sure if I'm doing this right. Because I know you hook shot. I might be overthinking this. I think, like, I think you might, uh... Do I, uh... I might have an idea. That's actually what really works. No, it doesn't. It is, I just jumped down too early. But anyway, we got the Stray Fairy. That's all that matters. It's our ninth Stray Fairy. I just gotta double check to see if there's any more Stray Fairies in this area. There is, I, I now remember. If we need to get our Light Arrows. Except that's not how you do it. I'm just gonna. What are the? What do you? What does that light arrow do again? Let me check. I really hate when my curiosity beak. I'm trying to do a top. When I'm trying to do a temple on a time limit. And yay! It looks like we're gonna have to come back here later. You you still have to flip the temple upside down, and uh, yeah, we have to play, we have to play the Elegy of Emptiness to get to keep this down. So I just remembered. So uh, we have to play the Elegy of Emptiness for the ninety eighth time. Pause. I was I was just during that cutscene, I was just too busy looking at analytics on my phone. But that's uh part but like uh I probably shouldn't look at my analytics during a recording session because I don't like I don't really want to like reveal stuff that like only I can see. 
Because this is part of being, especially since even though I'm not a YouTube partner, like being a YouTube partner, you can't reveal your earnings and all that. Anyway, now that I got that out of my system, we have 10 stray fairies. We're actually, uh, we should be on the verge of almost done with this temple. And I forgot to get a small key. I know, let's just get blo our ass blown up. And now I remember where the, the small key is, at least. Because you kind of have to go in a different room. I will admit I don't like how the high springs kind of mess up the camera angle. Yeah, that right here is where we need to get the small key, if I remember correctly. I'm just saying the key is if I remember correctly. And this is the switch we couldn't get earlier. And that is the small key. There are no, there are no, there are not any stray fairies in that room. So, uh, actually, let me uh, double check. Let me get out the great fairy mask and get out the hook shot. So, uh, are there any, are there any more? There is, but we can't get that one. We can't get that one in question yet. Yeah, like I said, like I've said on multiple occasions with this LP, so, with this playthrough so far, like, having magic in Chateau Romani, it makes this temple a fuck ton easier. We need the Goron Mask, and we need the Light Arrows. But yeah, if you have Chateau Romani, you can basically use as many Light Arrows as you want. Well, as long as you have Light Arrows. You know what I mean. Yeah, that's kind of how you get out of that room. I don't think there's... Are there any street fairs in that room? They're not. Yeah, I didn't think there were. There aren't any in this room either. Yeah, this puzzle's a little bit of a pain in the ass. They give you air they give you magic, they give you arrows, but like it's just not fun to do this puzzle. You have to kind of look up to see where it would go up on an upward angle. Like uh we kinda we kinda wanna get this. Like we kinda wanna uh we kinda wanna get this downwards. Then push, then flip it upside down. I want to try to see if I can do this off of memorization. We kind of look upwards, and uh, looks like uh, looks like we get a little toward the middle. Okay, is that the right angle? It's uh, kind of decent. It's not. It's decent enough. Maybe we're gonna push it a little to a little inwards. Yeah, that should be that should be good enough. You get this in, you basically get this, uh, inwards. Let me check the, uh, upwards angle position. Yeah, you get that to the, yeah, we got this puzzle down. We're actually doing better in this temple than I thought I was. I thought I was gonna get flat out lost in this temple. And then we, uh, and then we throw it upwards. We push it upwards, not throw it upwards. We can't throw these. Not even, like, Link can do that. 
Chris is considering commentary, how he's trying to solve a puzzle, like you're trying to think things. Like, this is a very complex temple. Like, um, don't, I don't blame you if you can't exactly do this on a, a current set of three days. If you're not, if you're like a total, if you're playing this for the first time, I would suggest just doing this on a, new, a fresh set of three days. And so that should be a, that should be a, that's it. Yeah, magic doesn't matter because we have unlimited magic. Do we need, uh, do we need the hook shots? Get out the hook shot just in case we need it. I th I'm starting to think we do. Oh, wait, we, I'm an idiot. We just go on the block. So yeah, we, it's way to overthink something. Go on a block, then go up here. And boss time! Also, I'm just gonna experiment. Let's see how many hits he takes with the light arrows. I'm gonna assume not many. It doesn't play the normal boss music, mini boss music. He just spits out fire instead of water, or no, or ice. All right, that's one hit. Right, that's two hits. Looks like I think the fire arrow took maybe four hits. So uh, and we're just doing we're just using the ground mask. We're just doing we're just playing it the safe way. One more hit should do it. I know that for a fact. Because of how frequently you fight this boss. Alright, he's dead, but I got hit in the process. And guess what? It's hookshotable, but... All that just for a stray fairy, even though we need all of them, so I'll let that one slide. There are also lava chunks. I'd say this is probably his closest to hard, because like it gets you off guard if you don't have much magic or if you're coming like with little hearts. And this is our eleventh stray fairy. There are no stray fairies here. We need our Deku mask though, since there are no stray fairies in the room, so uh... No! No! They jumped on! Thank God I don't lose a heart. I killed one of them at least. I'll get these bathrooms out of the way. That should be, there should be another Elegy of Emptiness. You know, I think that's just the compass, but I, let's double check. Yeah, you play the Elegy of Emptiness. You know, that's just for the compass, but uh, we're doing 100%, so that's why we do it. That's why we do what we do. Plus, it also helps us find out where the stray fairies are, so it's not, it's the day in the compass has its uses. Actually, is that a, the compass or a... Well, I gotta find out if we keep being hit. I 
All right, there's just a small key. Can't think, but I don't remember where the compass was. The secondly, the room where, uh, what am I trying to say? That secondly was up the upside down version of the room with, uh, what am I trying to say? The room with the, uh, we played the LG of Emptiness the first time. Let's get our Dinker Mask. So yeah, it looks like we're gonna have enough time to do this. We still have an hour left in game time. We can get this temple done in an hour. So yeah, I had way more time to like do this temple than I originally was given it credit for, I think. Oh, and also take a look at these uh, when you kill these with light arrows. I just love the light. If you think I love the fire, I love the light arrows even more. That gets a... Uh, that just gets a nice, uh, that gets a nice hundred rupees every time. And this boss, I actually completely forgot about this boss. This boss is legit the reason why I recommend Chateau Romani. But yeah, we essentially shoot him with the light arrow. And then hit him with the, uh, and then we hit him with the sword. Yeah, because, like, you, you use the light arrows to get the bats off him, and then you swing with your sword. Yeah, he can do a lot of damage. Like, he's, he's doing one hard because I feel like we have full shield. So yeah, the shield at earlier at Great Bay Temple definitely helps dramatically. And we beat him. What are, what are in these pots? Okay, hearts. We do need those. But yeah, that definitely... That boss right there can catch you completely off guard if you're completely unequipped. To be fair, so, a lot of the, so can a lot of the enemies in Breath of the Wild. We should boss key, which uh, we're almost done with this temple. However, there are some stray fairies we have missed. And um, we do, if we want to do a hot, if we want to get that 100%, let's just say we still have to, uh... It's actually a really great way to grind rupees to, like, use the light arrows to kill these, get these enemies. That, there we go. I don't know why I was using the light arrows. I guess I don't feel like switching the normal arrows since I have Chateau Romani. Literally the most broken thing about Majora's Mask. Well, maybe not the most broken thing, because like any Majora's Mask speedrunner knows this game can be, has a ton of glitches. I did not mean to pause. My thumb just pressed on, just slipped on start. I think it's almost going to be the third day, so uh, I guess there can be maybe a few things we can get done on the third day. And we also have to go back and, uh, this is another reason how we have to go back and, uh, what am I trying to say? Ooh. 
And I'm dead. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm not really, but, uh... But he's dead. And then he drops magic, which is useless because we have the thing called Chateau Romani. And this thing is hookshotable. So, uh, we're... The boss door is, uh... Well, actually, there's a mini boss, but, like, uh... There's another one of these fights. I love the light arrows so fucking much. Yeah, I think I'm gonna... The, the grand finale of this video is, uh, we get, uh, the other item we need to beat this temple, and another reason I get recommended Shadow Romani. This is the giant's crown, and this mass size, the might of a giant, you can use its power anywhere. Fun fact, this was originally gonna be an Adult Link-oriented mask. Except, they didn't know how to program it, so, like, like, um, or really, I don't really know why they didn't do it, but, like, either way, there's another Adult Link-oriented mask that everyone knows, we will be getting that later. What's in here? Yeah, that's the stray fairy I was thinking of. So we have to go flip the temple upside down. We can't exactly... In this room is the boss door. But we can't exactly do that yet. So we have to flip the temple back upside down. Which I'll just kind of for the next part. So, uh... Next time on the Legend of the Mask, we're going to finish Stone Tower Temple. So I'll see you guys next time. Later, folks. Bye.